In my presentation, I am comparing colonial North Carolina to a relative and today. The different time periods bring differences in everyday life. The town of Clear Lake today has minorly changed. Climate is hot with humid summers and harsh winters. We have many attractions like the surf ballroom, the lake, the fire museum, and many more. In the country, the weather is worse than in town. It, it also looks different. There are barns, silos, lots of trees and fields, and of course, there's the farmhouse. It hasn't changed much from our relative times either. Colonial North Carolina had a warm climate with hot summers and mild winters. It was founded in 1653 by Virginians. Colo Carolina became a royal colony, which was ruled by governors appointed by the king. Then the colony was divided into North and South Carolina. A challenge we deal with today is procrastination. It's when you put things off. Some people deal with it by sitting down and getting what needs to be done, done before anything else. You need courage to change what you've done wrong and put them right. And the end result, you're getting things done. The challenging event for my relative was the question that they didn't know what to do after they graduated. They had to figure out what they were going to do next in their life. They needed courage to trust their heart for what they needed to do next. After two and a half years of college, he went back to the farm and got married, then went back and finished college. An event that was challenging back in colonial times was having to take care of the family business, especially for a certain girl. Her father was in the army and her mother had ill health so she knew that it was up to her to take care of the business. She dealt with it by imagining herself happy, and of course, she wrote letters to a friend. In the end result, she married a planter and had children, but she continued to hold the responsibility in the management of her husband's plantations. School has changed over the years. In my relative's time, 1960, the schools were big, but smaller than what we have today. All the kids went to school, and they still do today. But in colonial times, most kids were taught at home. The schools were very smart, small, and girls didn't go. Today we have lots of different types of music, like rock, pop, rap, country, hip-hop, jazz, and even more. In the 1960s, they had just rock and roll. Colonial people listened to ballads, dance tunes, folk songs, comic operas, drum signals, songs, and santanas. People had different transportation as well. Today we have cars, airplanes, ships, motorcycles, and way more. In the 1960s, they had old-fashioned cars, like the one in this picture, trains, boats, and other stuff. In colonial times, people usually walked everywhere, even in the winter. Sometimes they rode in wagons. As you can see, lots of things have changed like technology, music, transportation, and even more. Even though things change as the years go by, we wouldn't have the things we do today without yesterday and the people who made them. Here are my sites. Thank you for watching.